and then uh, the very enough. very last card is an energy. You yeah. can pull that sucker out. So the back, this one back here. Yeah. No, no, no. Other side. So from pull top. from the top. That's an energy. You don't need to worry about that one. Okay. This card right here. That next card after the energy. That's the hit. Okay. So you put it at the front. No. No, it's already you want, there. Unless you unless you want to kill the suspense. Now oh, you pull okay. one, and then you just keep going, man. Well, we the a, card that I really want I is got at the bottom. Dusk Noir. Oh yeah, See? Dusk Noir. There you go. Here we go. We got a Hound Doom. We got a Siege Hollow. We got an Ursaluna. Ah, nothing. Okay. Nothing out of the, this one. The last card is the got one that we really want. Got this little hollow Zoroark. Yeah, you see? Yeah, like the hollow's the hit. The last one's the one we really want. Yeah. Okay, 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 oh, okay. and I did get a freaking Wait, cool... I just got a hollow. There you energy. go. Look, dude. Look you hit that. a gold card. Look at that. Welcome back, everyone, to the Rocky Students Podcast. If you if you were serious, like when we first met you, it's like Parker. They call me Slate. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have believed me? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I I think it's all depends on the delivery. Yeah, yeah. Most things do. So I pride myself on my snaps. Oh wait, hold on. We'll do it right into that mic. Oh. I don't know. It's pretty solid. Here. Right now, I, I don't know. It's a little humid in here. Or something's. It's it's fun to light. Beautiful, dude. Do it for the, do it for the vine. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm right now. Were you on vine, Luke? I had mm. vine for sure. I oh, didn't yeah. make vine stuff. Mm. Mm. Imagine. Dude, I've never, dude. Making content is not really my jam. It's hard for me, man. I'm I scared like, of the haters. Like the guitar. Yeah. I, content. Yeah, I like making, but even that, it's like feels like work sometimes. Well, it doesn't feel like yeah. work. It's just like I have to. I get so I in my head. Cut it. No, dude, I try to make it so easy, but, like, I was just so insecure for so long. I get it. You know what I mean? Yeah, Still like, am. Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just to see how long it take it mm. for. Uh, but, yeah, um, you know. You content. know, fun, fun fact, you're the first guest who has now been guest host. No way. Yeah. Wow. You're the first guest that's become guest host, so congrats. Wow. Uh, what an honor. What an honor. That's kind of cool. Did you say, were you... You said you said that you had something. Oh, you, we were just talking about tattoos earlier. I know what I'm gonna get for my next tattoo. Mm. Are you ready to reveal, or is that later? Oh uh, yeah, I can't. It's it's not pertinent. Um, wait, wait, where on the canvas is it going? Neck. Oh, oh like back, bottom forearm. Yeah, back of this forearm. Like an axe or something? <laughs> yeah. No, uh, no, we're oh, we're we're going saber. like old school, like panther head. Oh yeah, like traditional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, red red eyes. Mm. I was thinking so doing because all my tattoos are black and white. Yeah, yeah. And then doing black and white with green eyes. All of the sick. traditional stuff with the animals has have goofy eyes. Uh -huh. And I think it's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. I would love a traditional lion for Leon. Oh, that would be sick. My son. And an and aardvark for an Arthur. aardvark for Arthur. No, a bear. For oh, Arthur. Uh, like traditional. That'd be really cool. Um, but I don't want to pay for tattoos. Yeah. Hey. Uh, this is, I remember, this was, I, this was a question I had for you. Okay. Um, we can maybe talk about this later because, like, this is a long, long explanation. Okay. I want to figure out how to screen record on my Xbox and voice chat. Is there a way to do that? Otherwise, I'm, otherwise I might. Okay. Probably. Okay. That, that's where I'm at with most things now. Is it? Probably. Is, is, can no, I tell you what I want to do? Isn't that what all the YouTubers do? Yeah, but I'm on my Xbox. and here's It's the easier deal. on PC. I want to troll Matt tonight. Oh. And whoever else is playing with us. I want to get, I want to buy the loadout, and instead, I saw someone do that. I want to buy all gas masks, like 15, 20 gas masks, and I want to record our friends. Do you just want me to record it? Yeah. Okay. Because I can do that. I'll just pull it. It might be OBS way easier for you to do it. Yeah, I'll just do it. And you, if you want to get all the gas masks, that's great. Great. We'll just, we'll, just, we'll, great. Sabotage, just we'll sabotage our own team. Great. Just drop me the cash. All right. Hit the buy over by gas station. That over was by that Circle was easy. K. Hit the buy. All right, there we go. Yeah. Um, should we jump into this? Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. Okay. Uh, well, welcome back, everyone, to the Rocky Students Podcast, uh, where we always just want to find people who have a platform that are using it for his purpose. And today's a little bit different. Yeah. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. But we got to get we got to meet today's guest. All yes, right? sir. Today's guest, uh, man, he joined our staff back in August. He's our student pastor at the Niwak <laughs> campus. Luke married his sister. So they're what? brother in laws. <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> family surprise. baby. Uh, Mike moved here from the Carolinas. Loves Pokemon almost as much as his wife. 
and his kids. <laughs> and as always, ChatGPT said this. <laughs> this was, let's break this legend down. He's got the heart of a Pikachu, the fantasy football skills of a Magikarp, <laughs> a craving uh, for raising canes like a Snorlax. We may mm -hmm. rename his fantasy football team to Fumble Factory, but we can promise this guy <laughs> is a gym leader when it comes to student ministry. Can you please welcome Come on. Mike Ray? Let's go, baby. <laughs> Mike Ray, the man, the myth, Dude. the legend. Fumble Factory. Fumble Factory. I mean, hey, listen, it gave you both props, and uh, it was me. Plenty of shade. Well, hey, uh, that's just one league, you know. So it might <laughs> Trust be the league, me, guys. It might be the league that matters, but, uh, you know. Yeah. Hey, 14 Jeez. teams is too many. What is your record this year? Uh, I think I'm one in four right okay, now. you got to win. All right. uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, I have a lot of asterisks and a, uh, a lot of injuries. <laughs> so we've changed our name to Bruised and Broken. I <laughs> Couldn't think of a better it's name. Like dark, six, it's dark times. Dude. Six it's dark, dark times. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Luke, you're doing good. You're four I'm, and one. I'm feeling pretty good. Matt beat me. He's kind of on a roll right now. He's five and oh. Yeah, but, yeah, four and one. I feel pretty good about that. We'll get him back. Just too. lost Rashi. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. But I'm I'm two and three. Just lost to. <sighs> you're two and three? I'm two and three. Jeez, you bit, the, you bit the bullet last week. Though. I had to. My oh. whole team was on by. Um, and so I lost to Israel, who is arguably Excuse the second worst <laughs> team on the league. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, oh, that sounded real. That was very nice. That was yeah. very real. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Let's see. We need yeah, a drink. Yeah, we're drink cutting break. sugars around here. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're on a cut. Mm -hmm. Staff cut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody's drinking LaCroix and Diet Coke. <laughs> I had Chick-fil-A today, though. Mm. Yes, Lord. It's from the Lord. Acai bowl. Smart. Not just any acai bowl. The bee berry. Yeah. The Does that just mean it has honey on it? Yeah. It did have honey. Mm. It was very good. Yep. Sounds good. Yeah. Except I, I'm not a big, uh, what is it, the chia seeds. Ch oh, really? Ch chia. Not, it's just. They get stuck in your teeth. Man. Yeah. They get stuck and they're in a you little bitter. They home with you and stuff. Yeah. That's why I'm, I'm super not into, like, goji berries and stuff. Mm. Super, like, I don't know if I've ever berry. had a goji berry. Uh, goji. That's interesting. Yeah. Before we get too far into chi chi. Chi chi. Chi chi seeds. Chi chi seeds. Chi chi, 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 chi seeds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Luke, I have a gift. What? And it also, I also got the wrong gift. Oh, great! <laughs> you saw this. Oh, Whoa. check um, it out, Rocky Stewart's back. Carhartt. We're, we're doing Look some gifts today. Official. The reason why it's the wrong gift is I actually grabbed a women's medium. Right. I could, <laughs> I, I could maybe it's make so it work. It's gonna fit like a glove. It's gonna do the cut. Uh -huh. yeah, next time you're it's over, it'll yeah, be perfect. You have women's large. Perfect. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank but, you. These um, shirts are great. These shirts are great. And here's the deal. While we're talking about Pokemon, I want Mike to teach us some things today. Okay. okay. I Mike, got you. Give us a... <laughs> <laughs> the, the front card. Hey, apparently, I, I need this graded, one. If it's graded yes. and it's a 10, it's a $112 card. Okay, so here's what? the deal. Okay, so Shrouded, I don't have any sleep, so Shrouded Fable has the collection boxes with the Greninja, and the other one is the Kingdra. Oh, yeah. The Kingdra is in the back of my phone right now. I needed this one because... Dude, come on. But here's here's the thing, okay? If this card was the chase card in the set instead of a promo, mm. this would be probably a hundred and fifty, two hundred dollar card. Wow. Ungraded. Ungraded, raw. Wow. But now I hey, look, a ten dollars for a promo, not bad. I know, I know. Pretty good. Um there's can do you think you can teach us how to open a Pokemon card pack? Okay. So do you There's want the do you want like the do you want the deep dive or you want something real quick here? I so think we all can grab a pack and oh. open with you. Oh, oh. So here we go. And we then got you five. open the leftovers at other. We got time. we got five packs here. Okay. Oh, so you get so some extra. So here's how here's how you know how the packs work. Okay, so let's take one and pass the rest. Right. There's three. Easiest way to open a pack, everybody. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> do a little shaky shake. Which camera am I looking at? I don't know. Pick one. You. Pull a little tab right here, <laughs> grab the corner, and then pop. That'll open up. Then you pull, and then you peel. Okay. I, I cleanest, do that right. Cleanest way to open a pack. Slate's fingers. Is it important to keep the pack, like the, uh, don't open, don't, like the oh, pack? We actually pull if them it's all like the way out. I pull them out. I get rid of the code card. And you get do rid the of shuffle. Sucker. Parker, have you opened it yet? And then uh, the very enough. very last card is an energy. You yeah, can yeah. pull that sucker out. So the back, this one back here? Yeah. No, no, no. Other side. So the pull top. from the top. That's an energy. You don't need to worry about that one. Okay. This card right here, that next card after the energy, that's the hit. Okay, so you put it at the front? No. No, it's already you want there. It, unless you, unless you want to kill the suspense. Now, oh, you pull okay. one, and then you just keep going, man. Well, we got the a, card that I really want I is got at the bottom. Dusk Noir. 
Oh, yeah, See? dust clear. There you go. Here we go. We got a Hound Doom. We got a Siege of Hollow. We got an Ursaluna. Ah, nothing. Okay. Nothing out the, of this one. The last card is the got one that we really Got this little Hollow Zoroark. Yeah, uh, you see? Yeah, like the Hollow's the hit. The last one's the one we really want. Yeah. Okay, 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 oh, okay. and I did get a freaking Wait, cool. I just got a Hollow. There Dark you energy. go. Look, dude. Look you hit that. a gold card. Look at that. Is that cool? Yeah. Wait, well, that's good. That's a this secret. That's called a secret rare. Yeah. That one's probably like three bucks, maybe two, dude, maybe five. Rare? Wow. But yeah. That's uh, gold cards are good hits, man. I got Varum. I got nothing, go. dude. Yeah, Shrouded Fables has some tough hit rates. For those of you guys nothing. who know, what, for those of you guys who open cards, you know what I'm talking about. Is du Dusk Noir? No, dude, that's just a normal hollow. Dang. You take, hey, you take your, uh, you take your bumps and you go home. Wait, what is? Mm. Is that a hollow? Oh, that's a rough opening, fellas. Yeah. No, no hits. Hey, except that, for our gold. The energy? gold card, yeah, I'm gonna have to sleeve that sucker up. That's a nice Let's hit, dude. It. Here, pass up. Be careful. That's a careful, nice card. Careful. There you go, yeah, that's, guys. That's for you. That's your gift. Dark gold, tricks. This gold looks shiny, but gold dark energy. Well done. It's just yeah, a, it's just a reverse dude. hollow, man. Jeez, Louise. Now man. I know how to. Now I know how. We to. call that. We call that bulk. How many? Okay. Where's your, what's oh, what's your the most Pokemon you've card? ever made selling a Pokemon oh, card? You know. No, is that the good one? No, no, no. Uh, I sold I sold a alternate art. Gengar and Mimikyu tag team PSA ten, PSA ten for six fifty. Did you Jeez did you pull Louise. it? <laughs> I did not pull it. Okay. I actually bought it for about a hundred dollars, graded it myself. Somehow it graded a ten, and then I just sat on it for a couple of years, and it appreciated in value. Wow, six fifty sold that sucker for a. What's the best card nice you profit. pulled? Best card I've pulled uh, for those of you guys who are Pokemon fans. Uh, I, pulled a, I pulled a Greninja EX Yo. out of Twilight Masquerade. It's like two fifty. Yeah. I pulled two Lugia Alt Arts out of Silver Tempest, which is uh, one hundred fifty, something like that. But here's the thing, okay? I never hit those cards. My wife does. Ah, <laughs> uh, she's the X Factor. Yes. Yeah, I mean, we should so, have had her. Yeah. yeah. So I give her a pack or two, and I say. Okay, here's here's kind of what we're looking for. If you see this card, it's a good one. Three or four times, she's opened a pack, straight face, no reaction. She, she has no idea. She's just like, is this good? And I'm going, oh, my <laughs> God, like, <laughs> you did it. We got the card. And I'm doing uh, a dance. She doesn't get it. Uh, but, yeah. You, <laughs> should, you, I'm you doing a dance. Those, yeah. You should amazing. be one of those Pokemon TikTokers where okay, you just pull stuff. And too saturated, man. Too saturated. He's got, he's got a Pokemon account. I do have a Pokemon account. You can go follow me at Mikey Luxray. Is it the <laughs> keep it or cut it? Uh, have I haven't you seen those? No, <laughs> but I haven't posted it. Are you talking like actually physically cutting the card? Uh huh. Well, well, they'll have a pack, an unopened no, booster pack, no, and then make people no, vote. That's no. how they they're like vote with galaxies. No <laughs> stuff like how that. It's not worth it, dude. Yeah. It's yeah. not worth the views. Yeah, it's not worth Sacred, it. Sacred, dude. Yeah. Jeez, but, man. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for letting us open your yeah. Pokemon <laughs> cards. And you're not just a Pokemon card guy. Yeah. You're you've got tats. I've got tattoos. Yep. I've got Mimikyu right here. Uh, and then I've got a Totodile nice. on my thigh. And then Pokemon Go. And right. I'm a big Pokemon Go fan. I fell off for about two years and then I picked it back up because I'm hopelessly addicted. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the church is a Pokey stop, right? Yeah, uh, that definitely wasn't me. I feel like it was you. <laughs> yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely not. not me. You say as your boss is in the room <laughs> over <laughs> yeah, there. <laughs> well, hey, I like to think over the years I've learned a thing or two. So <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, work life, work life balance, right? Right. Mm -hmm. there you go. That's <laughs> smart. Um, dude, this is a kind of a special episode. Yeah. I mean, Luke is back, first guest. Who's brother-in-law, like man? Yeah, you got yeah, family. Brother-in-law. This is your first podcast with yes, us, yes, sir. And this is Parker's kind of last official. No, oh. yeah. he'll be in, behind the camera. Yeah, in yes. front of the camera. Yeah, this is kind of like a passing of the torch. Mm -hmm. Here for it. We'll we'll have a camera point on you eventually. We'll t we'll take a moment okay. of silence for Parker. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 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 I was like, we were a little bit lower. We got to explain the screaming kids in the background. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. PE yeah. is happening down the hall. Yeah, so. yeah we are also um, a school. Parker, I have a gift for you. As a hey, thanks for making ten episodes, dude. It was twenty something like twenty seven thousand views. Thanks. Jeez, um, man! Ten episodes we've done ten with different episodes? people. This is uh, episode number eleven. That's crazy. So I just sent you. It's not here, but that's <laughs> what that's what is on the way. My gift giving is like Matt McDonald. 
Matt zero. McDonald is the kind of guy that on Christmas that morning jersey? you yeah. open up a box, a receipt. Yeah, it, yeah, and it's like a printed picture of what he bought you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that is me. I sent you guys the picture too. If you want to see what, oh, what Parker's okay. getting, oh, you'll have to show you, me this. You guys might be fans, all right? Yeah, I might have. What's to, the have to What's the eighteen for? Uh, oh, that is sick. actually. I think I actually got you the number the year you started. Yo. Eighteen is just the placeholder. Oh, okay. yeah. so you started in twenty one. So that's you're, you're oh, that's why you texted me. You asked you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice, dude. That's so, cool, man. That's cool. Well done. I, I was going to, you know, maybe you can put in a picture frame. Hopefully it fits. Hey, we'll see. I looked yeah, at we'll measurements. It will we'll one day. We'll all sign it. It will one yeah, day. Yeah, we'll sign it for you. Devalue that sucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's cool. But thanks hey, for thanks, make this uh That's this a cool gift, happen. dude. You're a great yeah, gift it's giver. Been, uh, it's been fun. Super Good excited gift. for this next chapter. I should. I want. No, I didn't do chat GPT for gifts. Sometimes I'll do that now. That's yeah. good. Mm-hmm. What about this next chapter? Sorry, I missed out. Oh, I just said it's been it's been good doing this. I'm excited for this next chapter, though. I think yeah. this is going to be awesome. Yeah. And uh, it's only appropriate now that I don't work with students anymore. Mm. Mm. Sad. I miss you. Rip. I miss you. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, we got we got. Speaking of new chapter, we got Nick back there. Hey, Nick. Hi, hey Nick. Nick. C- hi, come Nick. say hi. He's a, he doesn't want to. He's yeah. He's. I got a card. He's never been on a podcast before. He hasn't recovered. He hasn't recovered since the last podcast he did. Oh Mm -hmm. yeah. (laughs) When he got interrupted six times. Oh no. He's He's healing. 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 (laughs) Take take all the time you need, man. It's a season. Uh, It's a season. All right, we're gonna do a little rapid fire. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Okay, you ready? Yes. So first thing that comes to mind. Okay. You say it. Some of these will be yes or no. You know. Okay. And we're gonna keep a little bit of theme here because it's fun. Yeah. All right. What's your go-to Pokemon for a battle? Typhlosion. Whoa. Favorite hockey team? Colorado Avalanche. Favorite player that plays hockey? Uh, Nathan McKinnon right now, all-time Joe Sackick. Oh, okay. All right. Um, how do you feel about Luke marrying your sister? Uh, at first, <laughs> you know, um, a little shocked, but, uh, you know, shocked I don't know. Shocked that she said yes or, like, it's aged well, like maybe cheese or no. M- maybe a little shocked that Luke would marry into our family. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, over, overall, the Rays. overall, I'd give it about a seven and a half out of ten. Oh, oh yeah, that seems <laughs> a little low. <laughs> wow, <laughs> seventy-five out of hundred. Yeah, that is a C. Passing grade, all bro. right, all right. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, ten, out of 10, I get it, bro. ten out of ten. <laughs> which fantasy football player is carrying your team this season? Malik Neighbors, but his brain is injured Freshman. right now, so I hope he comes back. Uh, where'd you grow up? Right here. Longmont, Longmont, Colorado. Fairview. Go Knights. <laughs> <laughs> That's in Boulder. Yeah, it is in Boulder. Longmont, yeah, fun. yeah. How long have you been married? Eight years. How many kids? Two. Um, if you could own one Pokemon as a pet, what would it be? Oh, that's a good question. There's a lot. Uh, a lot of them wouldn't make good pets. You knew well, the fighting one real quick. Yeah, a lot of them wouldn't make sense. But I, if I have one as a pet... <laughs> this is gonna sound weird, but probably Totodile because I feel like I have a Totodile already in my three-year-old son, oh, mm. yeah. which is why I got him. <laughs> tattooed you're, you're already on my, you're ready for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. is why he's tattooed on my thigh. It's kind of a you know yeah, symbolism yeah. thing. Hey, yeah. and, and Riley's kind of a munchlax right now. Yeah, <laughs> you know, actually, you say that now. That that dude. That's that. Maybe maybe that's the next tattoo. <laughs> that's the biggest boy I've ever seen, dude, <laughs> brother. He's gonna be a starting linebacker for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Mm-hmm. That's what my buddy always says. Mm-hmm. That's good. Uh, can you speak Spanish? I cannot. I speak French. Mm-hmm. Uh, muy poquito? Mm, un petit peu. Okay. <laughs> uh, omelette du fromage. <laughs> um, how do you feel when people go, Mike, 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 guess what day it is? Uh, you know, you get used to it. You get used to Does it. Does that still happen? Um, by people like you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Who know the reference, uh-huh. but yeah, maybe not That's so like much in the student a, world now. But a decade old? Now? Yeah, it's At getting least. there. At least it's getting um, there. Have you done drugs or been to prison? Uh, I've done none of the drugs, and I've only seen prison by driving past it. Okay. Mm. Which oh. one? Buena Vista. All of them. Is there is there a pris- <laughs> is there a jail in Greeley? I don't know. Maybe there should be. I don't know. <laughs> maybe there should. Be. We should probably just have a jail in every town at this point. Maybe that's the hot take for mm. the day. Maybe. Just Sorry. speaking of hot takes, just Sad. like renting renting property. Maybe yeah. that's more affordable than Longmont. I, know. I don't know. True. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, speaking of hot takes, uh, we were talking beforehand that one Luke has the hottest take that's ever been on this podcast. Yeah, dude, really who does. who'd have thunk? Luke who in the Promark T-shirt. Thunk. Who'd have thunk? And now, hey, we're still repping Star Wars. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of coming around on Obi Wan right now. Mm, wow. 
I just wa- uh, finished season three of Rebels again, and just that moment with him and Darth Maul, and it's oh, like, yeah. oh, it kind of feels full circle. Don't hate him as much right now, <laughs> but uh, for maybe, context, m- people, but since you said Obi Wan is the reason why Anakin. Turn to the oh, I, st- I still believe that. Yeah. But I, at the end of the episode, I said Obi Wan sucks, and I don't know if I think Obi Wan sucks anymore. Mm. Um, but I don't know, dude. I'm feeling a little fickle right now. And mm. but yeah, I stand by everything I said. Yeah, I think you yeah. should. But that was almost that was almost a million, yeah, a million views. Nine, and man, we were so close. Right now. People were um, either loved you mm-hmm. or had comments we can't say on here. <laughs> it was yeah. it was a. Uh, it was a learning experience for yeah. me. People, yeah. the cost of going viral. <laughs> the cost mm. of going viral. Sheesh, yeah, I was man. Like, no one's, no one's like threatening you in your DMs, right? Because <laughs> this is getting, this is getting crazy. Yeah, it was, it was um, awesome. I think it would be fun for us to try to do like a challenge of we each try to come up with a hot take mm-hmm. and see what happens. Mm. So like, just let the win. I think is like, all right, who gets the most views with this hot take? Could okay, be, could man, be twenty. I, I feel like I got nothing. Could be more. Um, you got one. I have one. It's very, very different than anything we've ever talked about. Okay. But I, I'll i try it. <laughs> Let's hear it, man. Yeah, we'll go see. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, we'll see what happens. Most of your I opinions are hot takes because they're bad opinions. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is, which is is another one? Of, what's another uh, bad opinion? Of mine? You got your French fries thing. You, you don't like fries? I don't like French fries. That's, that's literally <laughs> nuts. There's, yeah, they're, there's they're something. F- they're fine. There's just all those things. You know, yeah. you got, anyways. <laughs> we'll talk about You're later. unique, dude. I know. I know. Um, all right. I'm going to try to replicate how you did this one. Okay. And you're like, I got a, you said, I got a hot Star Wars take. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I got a hot take on uh, how the world was created. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think that the world was created in seven literal days, but made aged. Interesting. Meaning it mm. was made with bones in the earth, with erosion. With potentially evolution, mm-hmm. so that the is Earth was take. made at millions of years old. That's my hot take. If you think of anything else, so mm. like so that's like kind of mind blowing. So to like think a about. weathered cabinet, like you walk into a store and it's like, like yeah, it's aged, vintage, and you're like, yeah. no, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 like a relic. The color. only the, the only relic Earth. My only uh, that's good a band name. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. a good band name. The relic Earth. Ooh, yeah. Relict. <laughs> New band name. Yeah, yeah. So that's my that's my hot take. I wow. Okay, now that we're done with. What will be the clip? Do you actually believe that? Yeah. I, well, yeah, I think so. Cool. Because so be- I also am like, he didn't, he, to, it doesn't seem like he made Adam and Eve babies. Right. Uh, yeah. So he made them aged. Now, now he did make them babies. <laughs> that <laughs> changes the story radically. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Honestly, th- this, my whole thing with this thing is whenever people want to put God in a box, I'm like, he could do something kind of crazy. Totally. Like that. Why not? Totally. That's my, so maybe I believe it, maybe I don't. Mm. It's more of my fun one just to get people to be curious about Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> get them riled up. Yeah, yeah, be like, oh, you're really stuck on old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God, <laughs> yeah. He made bones in the ground. Mm-hmm. Crazy, so, dude. Thing. I got all sorts of Bible hot takes that I don't want to talk about on the <laughs> <laughs> on a podcast. Listen, you, well, that's why I was like, we can keep it Star Wars. We can keep oh, it, yeah. you know, uh, hey, may the force be strong with you. Mm-hmm. Wow, that guy. Did you it's, hear it was It was close enough. <laughs> <laughs> it was close enough. <laughs> mm he what? almost he almost got there. Yeah. Wait. Wait. What? It's I not. Miss? The for this may the force be strong with you. Uh, may, the be, may the force be with you. Well, that's Star Trek. This is Star Trek. <laughs> Live long and prosper. <laughs> Again, I'm just on the like. Let's just yeah. get. Yeah. Let's yeah, just yeah. rile people up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. May the force be with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I did it when I left. The, when I left oh, the wow. office earlier, people were like, "No," <laughs> and they got mad, and I was like, "I'll see you guys later." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, this might not even be a hot take anymore. I feel like okay. it was. I kind of want to go back to cable. Like, I'm so <laughs> yeah, done paying mm. for every subscription service. Everything has commercials now. All right, you like can cable. watch the full version of this podcast with our new streaming series, <laughs> our new streaming yeah. service, Rocky Students Plus. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> everything is coming out week to week, oh except yeah, for dude. shows like The Bear. That's, But that's not bingeable. You kind of have to watch that week yeah, to week yeah, anyways. Yeah. You need a break. Yeah. And so I'm like, let's go back to just paying one thing. And that's kind of like the YouTube premium that you do. Mm-hmm. Kind of does a lot of that, right? Yeah. Do you get YouTube TV with that? Uh, no, YouTube TV oh. is so expensive. I think that there might be something where you can like part, like bundle them together now. Uh-huh. But I just pay for them both. Yeah. Mm. Luke makes so much money, guys. It's all my endorsements <laughs> with Nike and you know, Yo, all vintage, that stuff. vintage tea yeah. companies yeah. and yeah. yeah. 
But yeah, that's oh. that's my hot take. We should go and back to like, cable. Yeah, it's just you're paying more now. We still get commercials. It's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, the YouTube app on my Apple TV does like a minute of ads now. That's tough, dude. Every like six minutes. But think of it this way. Ew. A lot of the kids these days do not understand the excitement that you felt when the commercials were over and your show was <laughs> uh, yeah, True. Yeah. Right? Like you're upstairs, you're making popcorn, you're grabbing a Mountain Dew. Right. You want to make sure that you don't miss the new episode of Hannah Montana. Right. True. Well, and here's what's hard that I think we don't talk about. <laughs> Content now is not made with commercials in mind. It's true. So it'll like cut in the middle of a sentence. Oh, yeah. And it's like, let's just, let's go back. Let's either get rid of the commercials yeah. or let's, Let's have it fade to black with uh, a trail of clarinet or whatever. Yes. <laughs> Woodwinds. You know? Yeah. I'm just like. <sighs> Wood. It's like, because then I forget what they're talking about when it oh cuts yeah. back to them in their mid-sentence. I don't know. I'm pressed. Yeah, yeah. bro. All right. Maybe it's because I'll never freaking own a house. <laughs> you will, dude. Define house. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes. Because we can get pretty wow. creative. <laughs> wow. Hey, thanks for sharing your bad. I mean, your opinion. Yeah, thank your you. bad take. Uh, you got anything? Mine doesn't feel super hot. Right. So it's like lukewarm. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of like a maybe it's a me thing. Yeah. Uh, but my hot take is that like sneakers are dead. <laughs> like sneaker culture, hype sneaker, that sort of thing is so it's just dead. Okay. And when I see it, dude, I was so into it. I spent a lot of money on shoes. And now when I see, like, hype stuff, I'm just like, it's kind of cringe. Yeah. So I think sneakers are kind of cringe right now. You need to get those. You need to get into the Croc collab game. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Um, some ladies. Rocky Worship Crocs. <laughs> Rocky Worship Crocs. Hey, With hey, some Nick listen, and Dane giblets. They're doing, they're doing some Pokemon Crocs, and they look pretty cool. Yeah, so that's not a super hot take. I think that might be a, my opinion. Um, I was just so deep in that, and then now I see it, I'm like, ah. Kind of cringe. Well, it feels like kind of cringe. Once I started seeing like grandpas and stuff like rocking like ones and like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know if or this is the, you know what I mean? Yeah, I started feeling that. I think there's a lot of things, and we could talk about this for a long time. Hype is dead. Hype is dead. Yeah, yeah. Period. Yeah. And I I felt that way when I saw those mischief boots come out. Oh, the are red the, ones? Are those the big goofy the boots? The big red ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was just like, <laughs> I hate this now. <laughs> yeah. I don't care about this anymore. They made those yeah. into Crocs. Yep, See they did I'm the saying, yellow dude. Crocs yeah, ones. Man. Yeah. But yeah. And there's Crocs toys at McDonald's right now. Just saying. I think there's some but shoes still, still that are like so cool. Oh, yeah. Like just some classic like Chicago ones are like goat. But it just got... It just got weird, man. And then also the most inaccessible thing to be into. Yes. Yeah. Like, I never once hit a drop. Maybe one yeah. on my dunks. Dunks are cool, but those don't feel super hypey. I don't know. Yeah. But, like, such an inaccessible thing to be into. I don't know, dude. I'm just over it. Yeah. So I don't know if that's hot, but. Those are those do look good. Should yeah, yeah. The the ones. Yeah, those are cool. Hey, I'm here for it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like now I'm wearing my Hoka's on stage. Exactly. Because like, they're dude. comfortable. Dude, hey, man. Skate highs, beat to crap. Yeah. These, are, these are it for me, man. Do you think? Hey, man, they just kind of look a little off white. You know what yeah. I mean? Like that's cool. Mm -hmm. And the Burks, I I will rock some Burks. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Check yeah. check <laughs> Parker's Birkin socks right now. It's mm -hmm. like per Birkin socks. Yeah, no, Birkin you heard socks. me right. I heard you right. Birkin oh, yeah. socks. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Parker's shoe takes are either the best or. Sometimes I do it. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Nah, your I have some of the ugliest here's Crocs you've ever seen. Here's Which ones? Snow boot Crocs. I have the Echo boots. They're I, like snow I like boots. those. And I've got the the Echo clogs, which are look like Yeezys, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, I don't think they look cool. Yeah. I wear they them because feel they're... They cool. No, because they're a conversation starter. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, like, I recently person. picked up a pair of those Kane shoes. You know what I'm those talking about? Those look cool, though. Yeah, yeah cool. I mean, they're goofy. But listen, they are comfy. Yeah. Mm. Dang. Something you will never catch me in those. those like, barefoot shoes... I understand. <laughs> I understand what, but oh, with the toe, toe shoes, yeah, dude, <laughs> oh. kill me if you see me in those on site. I got, <laughs> I got a, I got a weird pinky toe, and so I don't think it would fit in there. <laughs> Too small. <laughs> It'll just be a little a custom made pinky a, toe. Empty pinky. Uh huh. Yeah, that's how it would be. That's how it would be for real. 
All right, Mike, what's genetics, your, dude. What's your, um, what's your take here? Uh, I Okay, listen, I've been sitting on this for a while. It's kind of out of left field, but I truly believe the most versatile vegetable is the potato. Oh, oh yeah. <clears throat> oh. oh yeah. I just feel like if you were going to pick one vegetable to live off for the rest of your life, it could be the potato. Oh, yeah. You can mm. make bread out of it. You can make True. mash Dude, we out of it. We were talking about this at lunch. French fries. Yeah. Scallop potatoes. I mean, listen, you can smother it and cheat. And, like, there's nothing you can't do yeah. with a potato that just Well, and it's got, like, so many, like, good. macro and micronutrients, dog. You're freaking satiated. True. I'm just saying. And listen here. One of the greatest <laughs> gifts that you can I ever give somebody is. is a potato. Dude, doesn't your son mm. hate to hate potatoes? He does not like potatoes. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Tell him to grow up. <laughs> so if anyone's looking for a three year old that doesn't like potatoes, give me a call. You can have him. <laughs> I just love like how clearly your son hates it to the point that like Uncle Luke knows that he oh, eats yeah. potatoes. He will not eat them. He will eat French fries, but he will not eat potatoes. Really? Wow. Because in his mind they are two separate things. Hey, you know what is underrated as a potato and just always Always slaps. Tell us a tater tot. See, mm. Mm. Oh, no. brother. Dude, listen, man. Okay, Luke, we're gonna go back. Can't. When you came and visited me in Austin, Texas, there's mm-hmm. a restaurant out there called Jew Boy. Yes. Okay. And this guy, the owner, brings out the biggest bag of tater tots that you have ever seen on the house, and they were amazing. Nuts. And the queso with the queso, brother. incredible. Tater tots, dude. I never order them. I always forget. Love language. I, I always had, forget. I don't remember where this one. I had a you're tater weird, tot potato guy. duck confit poutine. Dude. Whoa. Sounds Slow un- down. Say it again. That's tater French tot Canadian. duck confit poutine. Sounds nuts. Where was that? I don't remember. <laughs> but Indiana. I, I think City. about it. <laughs> oh, Indiana doing their best Canada <laughs> impression. Dude. They're like, we think we're Listen, doing dude, good. I don't Mike, know. Hey, Mike is Canadian. It's true. Mike is French Canadian. I have also eaten poutine. I love poutine. It's very He's good. got family in Quebec. Quebec. Right. Which is why I speak French. I took French. I don't speak it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> French Canadian and Mexican. I can understand it, but I can't speak it. Are you, would you mm. love to see a Canadian football team? I have seen the, the Tor- NFL? I have seen the Toronto Argonauts play in in real life. It was fun. That's kind of cool. Should they go to the NFL? Uh, I feel like it would be kind of cool to have a Toronto team mm-hmm. in the NFL. Yep. Yeah, I'm open to it. Toronto baseball, yep. Toronto basketball. But uh, the CFL is wild, man. They only have three downs. What? That is crazy. Yeah, they only have three downs. They punt on third down, dude. Dang, mm-hmm. is that, that's fast. Yeah, it's pretty hmm. cool. Canadian football re- league is fun. The Montreal Alouettes. Yeah, dude. Dude, I didn't, I didn't know check you it were out. that deep. Yeah. Dang. That's got some it. knowledge, dude. That's good. That is good. Um, we are – I'm going to put you guys on the spot here. Yeah. Um, we are going to do our – because you're jumping into student ministry here. Yeah. We are going to tell you a story about student ministry. <laughs> we're going to keep it under about a minute. Okay. 30, se- 30 seconds is ideal. Mm-hmm. And then you have to tell us if you think that story is real or made up. Okay. If, it, if it's student ministry, I'm just initially just going to say, yes, it probably happened. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready. No one knows the stories. Who's all right, first? All right, let's go. I'll go and give you guys some time since you just heard about this. Okay. Um, I All right, here we go. My first month as a student pastor, I was threatened with a $1.8 million fine for taking seniors um, into a cave. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to offer any context to, to the cave? Um, no. Sounds okay. like camp. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean by con- like? What do you, what's helpful? Like, to know? what did you do in the cave? Like trespassing or something? Um, we we didn't we got to the cave and I got a call saying you have to come down because we had to hike up to the cave. That's my story. I can mm. give you more details if uh, you need it, but okay, is that a real one? I is feel it a fake one. I feel like I feel like the overall story is true, but the, some of the, the details are false. Well, the thing that's throwing me is the delivery. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't tell. If you if can't see right Matt, now, he's searching. Dude, he looks my, like he's this searching. This is my coffee hour where I normally start getting coffee. Oh. I want to say. I want to say that's true. I I also think it's probably an eighteen hundred dollar fine instead of a one point eight million dollar <laughs> fine. 
Yeah, I think the number is a lie, but I think it happened. Um, yeah, it did happen. It was a $1.8 million fine that Incredible. I almost got. Incredible. They dropped it. We went to the cave. I got called. We sp- explored the cave for like five minutes, cause, but the cops were down there. We go down. I get a bloody nose on my way down, so I'm covered in blood. Nice. And metal. I go to talk to the cop. He's like, do you need to get cleaned up? I was like, yes, please. So he gives me wipes, and he's like, you guys just trespassed on like eagle. Uh, or like s- endangered or protected and, land? Yeah, protected in eagle land. Dude, that's and like I didn't see the signs. Holy cow. And nice. I was like, please don't put anyone in. Like, He's like, it's 100000 for everyone you brought up there. And I said, we had no idea they did it because I told them to. And it was like 99 bucks instead of $1.8 million. Bruh. Wow. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. yeah. The Lord's grace. That's cool that they, they were cool like, about it. Yeah. They probably felt bad for me. I'm like covered in blood. And yeah. So there you go. All right, yeah. um, I was right. That was good. You all, you all got it right. Dang. I try to be... The delivery I tried to be confusing. Right? No, it was great. Yeah, Parker, what do you, you want? Are you ready? I'm not ready. Okay. okay, Luke, you got something? What am I supposed to say? Do you do you have a story at that you're going to tell Mike about student ministry that he has to determine if it's true or if it's false? The mm. Wow, you're going to have to reach deep in your oh, bag. Dude. Okay, I got one. All right. So we got a new student pastor. Uh, my senior, my junior year of high school. Um, and one of his things that he changed was how we did camp. Um, the first year we did it, it was like tribe wars. So you had your colored tribes mm-hmm. and you're, you know, you got your points, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a yellow, black, blue, and pink. Um, the blue tribe, everybody knows what tribe they're on. Right. But they, they don't like come up with a tribe name or anything until they're all together at camp. They make their flag. Um, you had your classic, like the Black Panthers, you yeah. know, you've got your, your flamingos uh, and the blue tribe decided they would be the beads, <laughs> the blue beads. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't see any issue with that. And, uh, for a week, a bunch of high schoolers would run around going blue bees, blue bees. Uh, uh and they had a. Massive, um, like lawn umbrella that somebody had thrifted right before and brought and tied a bunch of balloons to. They called it their hive, their hive, and they would run into battle with it, and they would all swarm and go. (laughs) Um, And this was like fifty high schoolers, all (laughs) screaming blue bees and buzzing for a week. Uh, That sounds. Too detailed to not be true. <laughs> this is a thousand percent. This happened. All right, I'm, I think it, I, I'm giving your brain some credit. I think it's false. Thank you. It's real, and it was my Dang. fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was me. That's I what that. I, I was yeah. like. I'm like. It I think me. maybe you were behind this. Man. You seem <laughs> awfully proud of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I even bought a because I went to the thrift store with my one of my best friends like the day before we left, and we're like, let's get all the random blue stuff we can. So we got the lawn flag. I got a, oh, I have a picture of it somewhere. I got a bathrobe with the name Emily embroidered on the back of it <laughs> and cut off the <laughs> sleeves. And that's, I wore that. In that was shorts. your uniform. Yeah, for a whole week. Dude. That's very campy of you. Yes. Yeah, I was all in. Those Some, are my chacos. Somewhere. Did you, did you have like church camp at like a camp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good old Camp like Ileana, shout out in Washington, <laughs> Indiana. <laughs> Ileana. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere yeah, there's yeah. a youth pastor just heavy eye roll. The heaviest eye roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. Happened. Have we yeah, done yeah. like a camp camp here? I guess winter camp we go yeah, up we, to yeah, we did, we've Crooked Creek. We've done a Creek. couple summer camps. Okay. Yeah. None of mm, We've been on some, but we've never been on one. Yeah. You guys went on one. I actually heard a funny story about the first camp you guys went on. Together? Say it. It was with Dane. Oh. oh, when I had to pull Dane's pants up. Yeah, yeah. Dane had Bloody her nose and couldn't run out and he needed you to pull his pants up so uh-huh. he could run out within his underwear. Uh-huh. Oh, I, would, <laughs> I, 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 I would do it again. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I love you, Dane. I love you, Dane. <laughs> I forgot yeah. about that. Come back sometime, Dane. It was, was that a winter camp or was that summer? That was Como. That was my second week on the job. <laughs> and my bed was closer to Dane's. So he was like, Parker, can you? And he was like, actually, that feels like an abuse of power because I'm uh, your boss. It was, <laughs> w- yeah, we were close. Friends yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you got, you got something? Dude, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have anything. Okay. Sorry. I'm tr- I, w- I was even trying to th- make up something and I was like, uh, 
I don't know. That's fair. Sorry. That's right. You've been you've been to a lot of camps though. I have been to a lot of camps. Um just camp stuff happens, dude. Yeah. That it does. The it blue, all feels go, like a blur. Go Bluebies. I know. Go Literally, blue I've been trying to like decode all of my camp experience and it's just all one giant yeah. spider web it's of just one nonsense. chaotic memory. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that same camp. Uh, the leaders did a belly flop contest to get points for their team. Oh, buddy! Uh, I I participated in a belly flop contest. It was yeah. a, it was a like a back flop. Oh, pain! But me and you know they would vote as soon as you do it. They give it out of ten. Me and my buddy Joel, who Joel Hensley, mm-hmm. Joel uh, Osteen, yes, <laughs> we were on opposing teams and uh, we kept tying over and over. They would be like eight, <laughs> eight. And so we. Six rounds until Joel flops. Joel starts bleeding <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> because after his last belly flop, and so they decided to give us both points. But part of me thinks because I was an intern that summer, I was like they were just doing it to haze us. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Ross, I'm looking I got, at you. I'll go, I'll cover Luke's story here. Yeah, yeah. We'll give you one more, and then I want to hear one of your camp stories. You can okay. give one for us. Um, there was a camp game where um, students had to just it was like a competition and they had to um, drink a lot of this liquid. Um, it was during a program game and, you know, representing the grades. And um, two of the kids just, you know, mid-program have to run off stage, go outside, throw up. Uh, the other two stay, um, and we had to take one to the hospital. Gosh. You take one to the hospital? <laughs> is, that, is, it a, is it a true... Or fake story. Mm. I'm just going to say fake. I feel like you, you're you wanting us to get a fake story. Hmm. I I don't know. It kind of feels true. Either Matt is playing the long game. You told me this story in a while back. So I'm going to assume it's true unless you're playing mm, that was four a similar story. Unless you're playing 4D one. chess with me. <laughs> Maybe. I <think laughs> You've been planning yeah. this for months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my whole thing. That one is uh, it's fake. Yeah. But. Kind of true. It stemmed from a story where kids tied an axe bomb together, threw it in a room, and a kid went outside and threw up. But it was winter camp, and the throw up froze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Mid projectile, so it was a little like yeah, a vomit it puck. It just turns into a statue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but you've been doing student ministry for a while now. <clears throat> um, yep. Which, if you want to know Mike's story, you should chat with him sometime. Mm-hmm. It's a cool, cool story how he got here. But yeah, you give us a test. We're gonna do our best to see what, like. You tell us a camp story. Or maybe you just have a favorite one. We don't even have to yeah. guess. But maybe they're just like, hey, this is in, in just in my memory of one of my favorite moments of camp or student ministry. So I, I can't remember what year it is. Maybe 20, 2018, something like that. I'm working at a church in Austin, Texas. Um, and I get the opportunity to take a small group of students to India. It's my first time ever leading an international mission trip. Um and it's me, one other male adult leader, and I believe it was 13 ladies. So not only are we outnumbered, okay, but we are bringing like – That's thir- not a good look. 13, 14 <laughs> – 13, 14 like affluent white ladies to India to do a mission trip. So, okay, so we get a day off. We're – it's a day off in Hyderabad, India, and we get to go and see the city. We get to go into the market. So we get on this, like, big charter bus. They drive us into town, and throughout the whole day, like, you know, we're going around. We're seeing all these sites, but we've got we've got all these people, like, stopping our girls to take pictures of them because it's just kind of one of those things yeah. that happens when you go out there. They take pictures with white people. It's, like, it's unusual. Um and so we're in the market. We're talking with our sponsor who's supposed to be getting the charter bus back. They have no idea where this charter bus is. We have no way to get back to the hotel. We are completely stranded in Hyderabad, India. And we are no joke walking like hand in hand, arm in arm through this market to make sure no one gets nabbed, no one oh gets my grabbed. Oh gosh, dude. Um, come to find out, the bus driver is driving this giant charter bus in the middle of India, right? Like really, really narrow streets. He tried to do a U-turn and he jackknifed the charter bus 
and he has been trying to get unstuck for the last hour, two hours while we're waiting in this market, waiting, just praying. I mean, I've got girls having anxiety attacks. Jeez, I'm trying dude. to keep it together. <laughs> like, um, and then finally we get on our charter bus and we get back home and I have to like process this trauma <laughs> that all Bro. the girls, like, people just staring at us, yelling at us. Like, Oh dude, listen, oh, I'll just tell stress. you, I, I'll just, I, hey, I'll take the suspense out. That is very much a real story, <laughs> but oh it's probably gosh. it's probably the craziest thing that's ever happened to me in student ministry. Well, and yeah. you are the the point man here. Yes, yeah, so like I'm trying you're to in charge I'm of all to, this. Yeah, I'm oh. trying to keep a cool head, and I'm like, bro, we are dead. How old were you? Uh, gosh, at this point, I'm probably 26, 27. Brother. Dude, just Absolutely. leading the charge. Yeah, well, we figured it out. This is also the same trip where they uh, they brought us when they when they were making food for us. They also made sure that they had chicken fingers and French no fries way. for us because wow. they were like, "This is probably what they want to eat." <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. It was like I appreciate it, but. Like, I kind of want some of this stuff, but, like, also I'll take some chicken nuggets. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. We survived. Student that's ministry back story. in the day was the Wild West. I remember we had – so we went to Summer in the Sun at Kentucky Christian University. And back in the day, we would take – my high school group, we would take 150 kids yeah, that's awesome. to camp, which is already crazy. We, took, fle- we took a fleet of 15-passenger oh, yeah. vans. <laughs> That's a um, high school in some areas, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we, <laughs> everybody knew when Crossroads was pulling up. Because oh. we were like half of the camp, basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the guys, every, s- the second to last day, so the Thursday or whatever, we would do, we called it fight night. <laughs> 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 every guy in the dorm, Crossroads like sp- put it on, which is like, <laughs> probably not a great look yeah, now. Yeah, probably not anymore. But <laughs> yeah. every guy would pull their beds out of their dorms. We would line the floor, like basically this half of the room. <laughs> line the floor, and then l- like we would hold up, like make our own walls, and it was tap out or pass out wrestling. <laughs> 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 basically anything goes. I fought everybody from my high school pastor. <laughs> I was going to say, you know he was in. Oh, yeah. All the leaders were in, too. My little brother. That's so good. That, that one was great because we weren't allowed to fight at home. <laughs> and so, <laughs> like, hell, here we yeah, go. So. Except for? Except for at Thanksgiving and Christmas. <laughs> That's a whole other thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> Fighting is allowed. But, um, no, I fought Joel Hensley again. Shout out to, to Joel. Um and I made him projectile vomit. Nice. Yeah, you did. But he also ate like hey, six donuts right beforehand, on, so that's on. his fault. On someone's bed in the no, no, arena. he had to like get out of there. Okay, I was like, so uh, yeah, I was like, some kid walked away with that and be like, what happened to my? Yeah, bed? I have all sorts of stories <laughs> that I cannot share on here about those days. Um, of course, a tight but I, I've vomits. only seen two people pass out ever, and it that's a scary thing like to watch. Choked out? Yeah, because they didn't tap. Is tap out or pass out? <laughs> Jeez. So, yeah. That is crazy. It's cutthroat. Imagine dude. doing that cutthroat. now. Cutthroat. Dude, we, we could canceled. Not. Canceled, sued, jobless, sent to jail, straight to jail. Worth, Worth it. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> could be the move. Yeah, could be the move. <laughs> um, since, you know, you're here with us, do you know when we start to film in today? Like, uh. I can't read how long that is over there. 50 minutes ago, maybe. Oh, okay. Sounds about right. That's great. Yeah. I was like, because uh, we got some other things. Luke, Luke yeah. had a good question. Um, let me make sure that's that's what what you know I got here. Um, yeah, do you remember what it was? Yeah, yeah we're making yeah. a hard left turn right Ooh, now. Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna take a left turn. Uh, just Real like natural segue, Mike. We just want to hear yeah. about uh, yeah, you know uh, what gets you excited yeah. about being a student pastor, like you know sixth grade to twelfth grade. Mm-hmm. Like, what about this generation of kids and like the stage of life that they're in, like why, what about them makes you want to lean in? Yeah. So I've been doing a little bit of studying just kind of this generation now. Um, I think one of the things that like gets me out of bed in the morning and gets me going is understanding 
the amount of students that not only are walking away from the faith after high school, um, but diving a little bit deeper and even just looking at the numbers of like how many people are actually following Jesus. And I think, Mm. and I think that's kind of a shocking number. Um, I was reading Practicing the Way by John Mark Comer, and one of the ways that he opens up is just by saying that there are 63% of Americans that would say that there's some form of Christian. Um, A lot of them are nominal, and a lot of them are just kind of like going through the motions. And he says of that, uh, only 4% are actually following Jesus, doing the things of Jesus, like actively, you know, doing the things that Jesus has asked us and called us to do. 4%? 4%. Um, and then one of the, I was actually sharing this with our leaders last night. So that's why all these stats are at the top of my head. Um, he was saying that of the millennials, only 10% of them are really like actually, I can't remember what he called it, but essentially like persevering through their faith and like pushing through just all the craziness Mm -hmm. of the world and, and following Jesus. So, uh, that's a big driving factor for me, uh, just trying to create an environment, create a space where, our students can come be themselves kind of, you know, leave the masks at home, be who they are. Um, but also have a safe place to ask really, really hard questions, have a safe place to wrestle with their faith and use this time to bolster their faith, to explore their faith. Um, and what I tell my leaders all the time is we're playing the long game with students. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of you guys out there, you, you're, trying to figure out where you're at and you may not walk out of high school like rah rah jesus like i'm on board i'm on fire it might take five six seven years of the world just kind of beating you up and then you kind of look back and you're like oh okay well my time at rocky students was actually really encouraging my time at rocky students like people like matt mcdonald people like parker people like luke they actually knew my name they knew something about me and they checked on me and so hey Life is a little crazy right now. I'm actually going to go check out a church because I had a good experience there. Mm. Um, I think really that's what I'm running running after over here. So the students over at, at the NIWAT campus just really working hard to make sure that they have a safe place to explore their faith, but also knowing that, hey, we want to make a good impression and you know not leave church hurt as they leave the church yeah. and just make sure that, man, that they know that this is a safe place. Yeah, It's a big one for me. Yeah, it's really good, dude. That is good. I love that. Um, what was your experience experience like growing up in church? Yeah, so I so I grew up here. Uh, I grew up at Rocky. Um, when I was a kid, I was actually part of uh, a different denomination and um, kind of had a rough time. I, I was young enough where it didn't really impact me too too much, but I know that my parents went through some wild stuff at, at this church that they were a part of. And so um, when I came out to Rocky. And I was a part of, it was called Thrive at the time. Shout out Mitch wow. Comstead. It's on brand. Mitch. And uh, uh, yeah, so it was, uh, it was a big deal for me. Um, you know, I was the kind of the kid in middle school. I was leading elementary school kids. In high school, I was leading middle school kids. I was typical youth group guy, but, you know, high school athlete, never had time for anything. <laughs> um, kind of made sports my God a little bit. Um, didn't really... Jesus, like Jesus was important to me. Like I would say like I was really, really bought in, but I didn't have anything happen in my life where like I really understood like the grace, the love and the, in the, the depth of what walking with Jesus was that didn't really happen until college. Um, but again, I knew I kind of rested on my experiences in high school and I knew where to go. So I kind of was able to navigate through that kind of a long winded answer, but essentially like, uh, essentially high school youth group is kind of built the foundation for my life. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, is there anything right now that you're sitting in being like, here's some, some things I, I have, you know, I'm dreaming of, but Mm -hmm. not doing or have hopes for to see that just gets you excited for, you know, a year, three years from now, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, I think I'm having a lot of conversations with students that are, doing ministry outside of these walls. I think what's really, really cool about our group, um, and Matt, you probably, I know for a fact that you've got a lot of people doing this in your in your area too. We have a lot of kids that are doing ministry on their own. They're taking what we learn here and they're taking the resources that we've given them. They've taken the, the coaching and the training that we've offered them 
and they're going into the high schools and doing it in their FCAs. Uh, Silver Creek has got this thing called Donuts and Devos. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you guys. Yeah. Um, and they're building something really special. Um, I've got two things that I'm running after right now. The, the first thing is really just trying to strengthen those guys up, make, making sure that those leaders are getting fed, that those leaders are getting, uh, you know, invested in, making sure that they know that, hey, we're on, our, we're on your team. There's no competition here. You know, if your NIWAT FCA is bigger than our youth group, that's a good thing. Like, yeah. that's yeah. awesome, man. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Like, I don't ever want it to be like, hey, you should bring all those kids here so we can have a big youth group. It's more like, hey, come here, get filled up, and then, yeah, go blow that, like, do awesome. Yeah. Um, and then I think the second thing is, you know, if Rocky can ever be kind of a, a beacon or, you know, even just like a safe place for those groups to, to come and come and engage, get, in, get engaged with the local church. So it's kind of twofold, making sure that those guys are, are built up, that they're equipped, and then bringing it full circle. Hey, we are here if you want us to – you know, if you want to jump in and we got something going here that I think you'd love. And so just trying to figure out how to partner with those people yeah. and build that up. That's cool. Yeah. That's good. So I'm, you know, <laughs> <laughs> got to stay hydrated. Hydrated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that's cool that it, it feels like we're really starting to see fruits from is like, yeah, we had our night to shine prom. Uh, gosh almost a month ago now yeah. he, which is That's crazy, crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but it's like we've seen kids kind of f feel this place to be safe we had basically every sports team from yep. both high schools in our mm -hmm. uh, in our areas and it's like we had kids sticking around uh, we had one uh we've had some conversations with a kid who came to Niwa and he stuck around and mm -hmm. helped he hung out and he helped tear down or whatever and he was like hey how do i pray like th there's just this um i think there's a lot of fruit we're starting yeah. to see from that kind of approach of just like creating safe spaces for mm -hmm. for our high schoolers and our middle schoolers mm -hmm. that's really exciting yeah yeah there is something really cool to i even when i spoke at a couple schools this week and it was like hey this is following jesus is not about a program night mm -hmm. it's not about totally. a Sunday morning those things are good they're helpful they're part of the big picture and it, it's about how you how you live out following Jesus in your everyday life, mm -hmm. you know, leveraging the things that you love to do and and leading amongst your peers and your friends. Um, I feel like we, uh, at least for me, grew up in that you know time frame where in America it was like this is what following Jesus is: is Sunday mornings and you know praying and knowing all the scripture by heart. Yeah. And I think those things, some of them are pract like practically great, but when it stays inside the church building. And so um, I think that's a really I love that where you're like let's let's figure out how do we how do we keep partnering with students who are doing things mm -hmm. that aren't just inside mm -hmm. a church building. I love that there's a bunch of students who are doing that. Yeah, that's really sweet. Yeah. So shout out, shout out to all you guys. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Guys are doing big things, man. Yeah, for real. It was really cool. Um, you guys have anything else that you're like, hey, we should jump in to these questions, these thoughts. Hmm. We're closing up on a little over an hour. Anything else we need to know about Mike? Mm. <laughs> Probably. There's hey. always plenty more to know yeah, about Yeah, there's Mike. a lot. Hey, I, you just bought a house. I did. Hey, congrats. And yeah, we, we big deal. And you're just now moving into this house. I yeah. know that was a long process. <laughs> One that you have been a part of. Oh, yeah. Thank uh, you, by the way. Oh, <laughs> that's, not, that's not what this is about. Um, he goes. He goes, now it's time. To pay the piper. Uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, uh, no, um, yep. I think it's really interesting. The place that we live is really, it's pretty expensive. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we don't always have the luxury of living super close to where we're working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you guys both commute 40 minutes to get here. Yeah. Which is pretty normal for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Um, I think. Something to just speak to your character is like, what goes on in your mind when you're like, okay, since it's not as accessible for you mm -hmm. to like just drive over to the church or drive to the high school, uh, I'd be interested to hear like what goes on in your brain, maybe even yours too, when you're thinking about like, hey, I'm going to be extra intentional about this, mm -hmm. you know, how you're using your time when you are here, you know, is there, could you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I think... 
I think one of the things that has been really unique about this like new gig is the commute. I'm not used to it. Yeah. So I've been working, um, you know, remote at home for four years now. Uh, you know, the longest commute was from my bedroom to the living room where my desk was. Um, yeah. so I'd get up, I'd go fire up the computer and I'd start working. Um, I think it's kind of a twofold answer. I think first of all, I'm trying to use the commute intentionally. Um, I've read more books and I say read, right? right? Yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm doing the audio book. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm flying through. I'm flying through books, so I'm trying to use it as on the way to work. I'm doing something that fills me up, mm -hmm. right? I'm trying to find something that's going to push me, challenge my, you know, and move me forward spiritual, spiritually. Yeah. Um, on the way home, it's usually sports, sports radio. Mm -hmm. So I got to do something to, you yeah, know, kind of yeah. deflate a little bit. Um, and I think it worked just understanding that, Hey, there, there is a mission here. There is a goal to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Um, the target's always moving. Uh, it's always adapting. It's always changing, but understanding that, okay, there's a family at home that doesn't get to see me during this time. So I better make sure that I use it well. Yeah. Um, and yeah, some days are more efficient than others. Um, but understanding that there are people out there that are relying on us to create something that's beneficial to them because yeah. yeah. you guys know this high schoolers have access to anything and everything and no programming that we could ever put on is equivalent to a red rock show or you know the same production as some of these things you know the movies that they have access to the tv show like everything out in the world like entertainment wise will always be better than anything that we can offer them sure but how do we create something that is very real, tangible and accessible? And so that's, you know, you come to work with that kind of every day yeah. and you try to figure out, okay, what is it today? Is it actually spending time with students? Great. Okay. Well, I'm going to use Wednesdays and Thursdays for, you know, to actually run after students and spend time with them. You know, Monday, Tuesdays are going to be preparation. Uh, you know, just trying to stay on top of stuff, vision. Yeah. So try to like approach it with, uh, just intention. I mean, like you said, just intentionality. Yeah. Just try my <laughs> try my best. <laughs> yeah. So it, it yeah. seems like it's creating a sense of urgency. Yeah, it does. You know? it Especially because when you do get home, you got your family's your first ministry. Mm -hmm. It's like can't be can't be thinking about that if you if you got a full workday plus right. forty minutes each way. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And I'm sure I don't know anything to add, but no, nah, dude, I think that's, that's right on. And like you said, there's like an urgency about mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. because you can't, well, I mean, we could, we could just like drop and like, okay, I got to run to church. And that's like a two hour ordeal. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got two babies at my house yeah. and my wife's trying to work, you know what I mean? So there, you do have to be so much more intentional and, but there is an urgency. It's like, dude, I need to make, I need to make my time matter. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's good. Yeah. Thanks. That's sweet. Um, I think we're kind of getting kind of closed up here with timing of things, but uh, man, I cannot say we're more th like we're so thankful that you're on yeah. this team. Oh yeah. my god, it was a long time waiting. <laughs> this is a dream come true for me. For, this <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. for real, you dream come true, man. Close. I mean, you guys got to get that carpool game going. We yeah. we've you tried we've a little bit it. once yeah. or twice, yeah. All right. It's yeah. a work in progress. Yeah. I don't think I don't think Luke and I are morning people. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's just so, like, so even when we do carpool, it's like, yeah, man, I'm happy to see you, but like, bro, I'm don't like say a uh, word. I'm yeah. running at twenty five percent right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Let's go. Uh but man, we're really excited. I'm excited for what is happening over here at Niwat. Yeah. I'm um, excited to Me work too. with you. Me too. Um so it's fun to get you on here and and who knows what the future will look like with this. Yeah. You know, sometimes uh I might not be here. You'll be hosting with people. Parker will be behind the camera. Sometimes we'll be together. No pressure. So yeah. I just want to be like, yeah, dude, let's 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 run. Let's yeah, see what happens. It's cool. Um, thanks for being here, Luke. Of course. Anytime, guys. You spoke, you spoke, yeah, I think that's probably some on our yeah on our sound deal. Yeah. <laughs> Luke, thanks for being here. Yeah, no problem, guys. Uh, I don't know which one it is. Just imagine that <laughs> inverted. I think it would sound yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he also spoke last week, right? Yeah. Over here, he so. crushed it. By the way. Thank you, Mikey. It. There you go. Thanks yep. for investing in students all the time. Of course, man. Students is my heart and soul. That's good. And one of these days I'll be back yeah. uh, leading and doing all that stuff. But uh, 
Yeah, soon. Soon. Yeah. Um, also, if you're gonna be on the show all the time now, I think our our first question for any guest, no matter if it's a hundred year old person or you know someone is like, hey, what do you think of Pokemon? And I want to hear. I want to know what every single person's thought is, and we'll just go from there. Or just at least ask that's them. Easy. Like, yeah. Who who would your starter be? Maybe that's <laughs> uh, really test them, see if they can tell me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mudkip, dude. Mudkip, yeah. <laughs> dude, we could have a chat. <laughs> we could have a chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, again, thanks for being here, guys. Yeah, man. Uh, for all of you guys who watched this point, thanks for being here. We love you guys. Jesus loves you. Peace. Peace. We'll see ya. Yo. Rap. Stuff. It's a rap. Uh, Mike. Yeah. Great job. Rock and roll McDonald's. Oh, yeah. Rock and roll McDonald's.